Right now at 3 o'clock, COVID boosters getting a boost to the FDA green lighting, a second shot, but not for all Americans. Who can get one and how? Florida taking on the federal government, the new legal action Governor DeSantis is taking when it comes to masks. Poisoned at peace talks, the shocking claims about what went on behind closed doors during negotiations between Russia and Ukraine. The insurrection investigation entering a pivotal phase. What a judge says former President Trump likely did the day his supporters stormed the Capitol. And big changes coming to the gridiron, the NFL's new game plan amid that bombshell lawsuit from fired Finns coach Brian Flores. Will Smith saying sorry to Chris Rock for that unscripted and shocking slap. Plus, what Jada is now saying about the Oscars ordeal. It's 3 o'clock. The Local 10 News first cast starts right now. Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Christy Krueger. I'm Louis Aguirre. Let's get right to your top story at 3 o'clock. Turning to the war overseas and possible progress for Ukraine. Ukrainian forces say they've seized Russian tanks after taking back control of some of their territories. Meanwhile, there are some shocking claims coming to light that some negotiators may have been poisoned during the peace talks earlier this month. And this latest round of talks have ended for the day. And while there is still no deal, Russian officials are calling them constructive. Local 10's Alexis Frazier in the newsroom with more on this. Ukrainian and Russian negotiators are sitting down face-to-face -face in Turkey for high-stakes peace talks. President Zelensky has outlined his vision for a peace deal. If Russia withdraws its troops to territories it occupied before the invasion, in return, Ukraine would pledge neutrality and not join NATO. The deal would have to be guaranteed by third countries, possibly including the U.S. But even as the negotiators begin those talks, the battle for the country rages on with fighting around Around the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv intensifying. Ukrainian officials now say Russian troops have been driven out of the key suburb of Irpin, which sits along a major highway. Now families are reunited. 86-year-old Olga embraced by her daughter after fleeing the city. The mayor of Urban said the fight for the city isn't over. We will defend it courageously. Urban is Ukraine. 